Remember that family-owned bakery in your neighborhood? Of course you don't. It was put out of business a long time ago. We're here at Panera Bread in Santa Monica, one of the corporate chains that did that. <laughs> I just want to say that in my version of heaven, Panera Bread is Pantera Bread. And Dimebag Daryl's in there shredding on guitar and eating a panini. Rest in peace, Dimebag. My name is Wax, I eat at regular places, and this is Chain Reaction. Panera Bread is like American spirit cigarettes. They exist in this world of unhealthy stuff, so they try to fake as if they're healthy. They're not. That said, you do have the option to get an apple as your side. This apple looks kind of shitty though, to be honest with you, right? It's very hard to judge fruit nowadays, because I don't know if this is just a shitty looking apple, or if this is like an organic natural apple that came fresh from the garden, and all the apples that I'm used to are actually full of stuff that makes them look better than they really are. Mm. If you ever want to truly appreciate the taste of an apple, do a show where you eat fast food all the time. The natural taste of this apple is very welcomed by my mouth. Because of this show, my mouth is used to high fructose corn syrup, salt, french fries, butter, fat. This just tastes like natural goodness. A is for apple, and A is also the rating I give this apple. Make it an A+. French onion soup is one of my favorite things to eat in the entire world. I absolutely love it. God, so good. The French are really good at working with onions, man. There's this girl I know, she's always on my phone. Upon second taste, it's not like you could serve this at a gourmet French restaurant, but it's pretty good for an Americanized version of French onion soup. This is classic America. What America's really good at is taking everything France gives us and just covering it in stuff that makes it more likely to cause a heart attack. We took French fries and covered them in chili and cheese. We took French toast and covered it in butter and maple syrup. We took French onion soup and covered it in croutons and cheese whiz. I'm surprised we haven't covered the Statue of Liberty in garlic butter. I give this soup a 4 out of 5, because let's face it, before America added the cheese and bread to this French soup, it was coming up a little short. You could say it had a Napoleon complex. For those of you that didn't know, Panera means bread basket, so this place means bread basket bread. She could be my everything. I could probably date her. With the word bread in its name, you would think Panera bread would be really good at making bread. And you know what? They are. You want to get a close up? This is the most popular salad here at Panera bread, the Thai chicken salad. Americans are pretty simple about the way we title foods. If something has an avocado on it, we call it the California whatever that thing was. If something's got peanut sauce on it, we call it the Thai whatever that thing was. As far as I know, everything in Thailand is covered in peanut sauce. There's a shitload of peanuts in Thailand. George Washington Carver would love Thailand. You know what else? who else would really like Thailand? Who's that? Elephants. <laughs> So this has peanut sauce, roasted red pepper. What are these things called again? Uh, cracker things. Cracker things. And an edamame. All in all though, I give this Thai salad a four out of five Asian elephants. And trust me, that's hard to come by. What would a five course meal at Panera Bread be without the main course? This is the Frontega chicken panini. In a city full of silicon boobs and fake butts, paninis are the only thing that people of Santa Monica prefer to be flat. Most paninis are actually flatter than this. They're usually pressed on a waffle iron. This one's kind of fluffy. You ever been to karaoke night and watch the drunk sorority girl sing a Stevie Nicks song? You know that song they all sing? I'm getting older too. The way that she sounds is how paninis are usually served. Pretty flat. Mmm. This tastes pretty good, but I'm not satisfied with the texture. I feel like this panini could be more toasted. I feel like somebody drew these lines on. Like I said in the beginning, Panera is trying to be like a mom and pop type of bakery, but everything that they serve falls a little bit flat of that. It feels like the fast food version of a mom and pop bakery. As far as the rating, I give that chicken panini a was that an Al Pacino or a Robert oh, De Niro? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a Robert De Niro face. Oh, yours is way better than mine. Let me get your Robert De Niro face. <laughs> Let's get out of here, dude. In conclusion, I feel pretty good. Panera Bread is at least a little bit healthy, and it doesn't taste too bad either. Sorry, I give this place an eight and a half out of ten. I'm gonna go down to the Santa Monica Pier and have myself a great day.